Hey, YouTube. Renee here again with another tobacco review. This time I'm smoking Solani Sweetness of Perique, I believe this is what it's called. Um, doesn't have the name on the actual tin. This is a Virginia Burley and Sweet Perique blend. Mm. It's part of my um, Perique tryouts that I've been uh, having in an effort to see if uh, maybe my palate has changed, maybe I've developed a taste for Perique. Normally Perique is not something that I smoke, I don't like it. But uh, I've been trying, you know, here and there, and this is one that I picked up myself. Now, uh, when you open the tin, the tin note is actually very, very much an aromatic. It's very sweet. It smells actually it smells wonderful in here. Um, but the taste is um, it's very perique. <laughs> um, it reminds me of why I don't like perique, and uh, that's simply because you know while it does, I guess it is a spicy um, tobacco. It doesn't have enough at the very end. It just the very end is very bland. So this is no different, although it's um, it's a very sweet blend, but not, you know, it smells very aromatic, but once you smoke it, uh, it's not that much of an aromatic. It's a very light aromatic. But it does have sort of like a fruity note in there. It's not easy to light. Definitely needs to be dried. I had actually started this video before when I cracked the tin, and um, you know, I just uh, yeah, I couldn't uh, a hard time lighting it, so I had to stop, and you know, maybe start smoking a little bit more before I could start again. It's um, like I said, it's a very uh, light aromatic, but I think if you let it dry. It'll light better, so the taste will be more intensified because uh, it'll be cooler. Um, you know, I think I'm just lighting it too much and I'm burning out a little bit of flavor. But there's flavor in there. I mean, it's not like it's just nothing there. No, there is, except like I said, the very end is very weak. There's, um, there's really no end. It just fades out. It just burns away. But... I gotta say, I do like it. You know, there's something there. That is, um, it's very sweet. And I, I, guess, I, I guess I could see it's a little different than most. Different kind of flavor. I would definitely uh, recommend it for anybody who wants to try. Sorry. Didn't mean to do that. I'm not trying to flip anybody off. <laughs> Keeping it clean here. Um, I would definitely recommend this to anybody who you know likes Perique uh, or somebody who wants to try something. I would say a little different when it comes to aromatics. And I don't know if you can hear it, but um, you know, really, really not forcing the the smoke, but it's it's. Um, it's really, um, really wet right out of the tin, so the um, it's settling down. On the pipe, definitely need to let it dry. Other than that, it's a very, very good tobacco, I would say, for being Perique, which I don't like. Um, it's a good buy for me. I like it. And like I said, I do recommend it. It's a, it's a wonderful, wonderful blend. Just, you know, like 
to uh, caution, you know, those of you who expect a lot of tobaccos, you know, who expect big flavor coming out of this, because, like I said, the tin note is huge. It's very big. It's very aromatic, but the taste really brings you down. <laughs> That's one of the things that I always hate about aromatics is that, you know, the, the tin it's just smells so good. And then when you smoke it, it's just like there's nothing there. This is sort of like that, but there is a little bit there. There's, there's a little bit more. Not quite like all the other aromatics. My advice, though, definitely let it dry out a little bit um, before smoking it. You'll get a lot more enjoyment out of it. And uh, so anyway, so that's about it. Um, I don't know if I've showed you this, but this is um, this is my Radice, little short nose warmer. Uh, this is an underwood. It's, that's why it's called because of the rustication that it's got. It's got like a rock rustication that it has. Um, I want to say that I I showed you this pipe before, but I I don't know. Not necessarily a new pipe, but anyways. So that's it, compadres, comadres. As always, thank you for watching. Ivan con Dios.